Hello everyone, Mike127 here, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And we're dropping back down into Skyloft and about to, um, place our newly acquired ruby tablet that we got from defeating the first boss in the game. And now we're going to open up the newest, um, region, the second region. Which will be called the Elden Region. I don't know if you have to do the Skyward Strike on this. No, you just place it in. That's good. So you may notice that is a red beam, and if you can guess, and if you <laughs> have kind of followed along with the theme of many other Zelda games, the second region in the game is going to be a fire-themed region. It's going to be kind of a volcano type of place. So what I actually want to do is go back to the bazaar and get a new shield, and hopefully it's available. Because we have a wooden shield right now, and anyone who's played Zelda games knows that wooden shields in a fire-themed area, they're not very helpful. And they can be easily destroyed. And there is a new shield. Oh crap, we're gonna get a cutscene, aren't we? I don't care about what any of this is. This is just gonna be... This is just a little side quest thing. Apparently this lady's daughter's missing, and we don't give a crap. <laughs> I feel like such a bad person. Oh boy, are we gonna, really gonna get caught up in this? There's a major side quest. I mean, this is this isn't like, well, this is part of the major side quest, but there's so much that goes into a certain side quest that has to be done. On like, like in general, in the sky, that is called the gratitude crystal side quest, and I'm not gonna deal with it at all. So I'm not even gonna talk about it. But if we see anything that looks like star bits from Super Mario Galaxy, those things are called gratitude crystals, and I'll kind of briefly describe them. I guess there are decent prizes that you get from turning in gratitude crystals, because there's a certain character... <laughs> I said nah to that, by the way, because I'm such a jerk. I mean, well, I have things to do. I have a world to save. Ah, fine. I don't have to do this right now, don't worry. We're not going to get sidetracked. At least I don't think we are. Hey! Yeah, it is just part of the side quest. So basically, there's this character on Skyloft. I might eventually show him. I don't really feel like it right now. There's this character on, on Skyloft who is cursed, and we basically need to bring him grat gratitude crystals to uncurse him, to break his curse. And to get gratitude crystals, you basically have to do good deeds for people, and that's basically how that big side quest works. Eventually, I might show a little bit of that, but I'm not too concerned about it. Ooh, I, if I am on that, <laughs> I can show you this chest here, but it's not openable right now, unfortunately. Um, I thought about going and getting the other chest. I think I actually mentioned it at the end of the last episode. I said I was going to go get them at the start of this episode, like get the two chests that I have open up in the sky, but they're too far out of the way. Actually, let's see. I'm going to check the map and see if there's anyone like nearby the portal. No, like they're both down south here, and I really don't want to go that far. I'll eventually, when we get later into the game, I'll, I'll mess around and get, and get some of those, but I really want to, well, for one thing, I, I just want to get into the action of the game, because again, this game had a really slow beginning, so I really just want to have a like, I really want to start off this game by jumping into the action as quickly as possible. And then eventually I'll slow down and maybe, you know, screw around a little bit. But for right now, I really just want to get through the main parts of the game as quickly as possible to start off the whole LP with. And also, another thing about the chests on the outside is that I want to make sure I know what's in them before I collect them, because I don't want to get heart pieces. Again, a few of them do have heart pieces, so I want to be careful with that. 
Oh, I didn't get that shield. I just said I was going to get that shield. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um, and, I mean, I could... I mean, it's not that big of a deal if I lose my shield, but... I don't want to leave right now. I might go between episodes. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go a little bit further into this. This is not that many fire enemies to worry about. I'll go into this a little bit... A, a little bit far into this, and then maybe... Like, once I get to a good stopping point for an episode, I'll stop, get the new shield, and then I'll come back in. So, I'll just go with that. If I lose my sh well, I, I shouldn't say if I lose my shield, I lose my shield. I shouldn't really say that, because... Like, I, like even though I want to get a new shield, that doesn't mean I really want to get rid of my wooden one either. Because later on in the game, there will be a, an area where the wooden shield would actually be better than the new shield I want to get. So let's just do that. I'll meet you at the bazaar really quickly. Sorry about that. Just a stupid thing that I forgot to do. Okay, so I was a little bit too anxious to... Um, to move on to the next area, let's get the shield first. You can see here there's a new shield here. It's the iron shield. So this is um, more durable than the wooden shield, as he's saying here. And it uh, it's resistant against fire. But he's, say he's saying here, I pay attention to this and remember this for, l for later. He says, as I suppose it won't protect you from electricity, which may come as a nasty shock. Pun there. But yeah, um, he does mention electricity, and it's 100 rupees, I don't even have enough. Wonderful. Just great. Just great. I don't even have enough rupees. And the funny thing is, I could have gotten, I, I do remember a 20 rupees I could have gotten. Maybe I do, maybe I should just go and get those chests. Crap, I'm sorry about this. Um, you know what? I'll just drop on back into the... the yeah, I'll just drop on back into Elden and do what I said I was gonna do. Just go as far as I can. I'm not gonna get, be too upset if I do lose my shield. Hopefully I don't. But, um... Oh well. We'll just go with it. So I'll meet you back in Elden. Okay, sorry about being so disorganized at this <laughs> in this episode here with this stupid shield thing. Let's just go on with this and go as far as we can, and as soon as I get up to 100 rupees, I will try to work out. But, though, I'm going to try not to backtrack to this uh, bird statue here to do it. I'm going to try to at least get far enough to unlock a new bird statue. I should have just stuck with that plan from the beginning. Here's a gas cube here that's really easy to get. Again, I'm going to... You know, I actually did think about it, and I think I actually will try a little bit harder to get some of these, just for extra entertainment value. I mean, I'm still not going to waste, like, a whole episode going out of my way going for these, but still, you know, if, if there's one that I just feel like going for and that it's even a mild challenge to go for, then I'll get it. But again, don't expect me to just waste a bunch of time getting them. So yeah, I'm going to, again, I'm going to make sure I get up to 100 rupees. I'm going to be very careful about what I fight, too. I could, you know what I could do? Just to make sure I don't lose my wooden shield, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unequip it. I know it's I, I'm forgetting how to play the game. I'm sorry. There's so many buttons. There actually are a lot of menu buttons in this game. It's like you have one and two, and then you have plus and minus. You have four menu buttons. But really, you know, one. I mean, this is a menu, and this really isn't a menu. It's just hints. So there's three menu buttons. So it's, <laughs> there's actually a lot that goes into the menus. So, excuse me if I get confused in that occasionally. Eventually, I'll get used to it again, I'm sure. I just went the wrong way, by the way. Lovely. Great start here. Yeah, this would be good. At least I can save my wooden shield, because, I, again, I will be using it later, and I don't want to waste 40 rupees buying it later on. I'll just deal with not having a shield. That's fine. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, Fi's trying to talk to me, but I'm not paying attention. I think what she's doing, because again, I did watch footage of somebody else playing this. I think what she is doing is she's trying to tell you to douse. And uh, there's really not anything to douse for. It's pretty much the same thing as in Fern Woods, where you were, you start off by dousing for, uh, for dousing for uh, Zelda, so there's really no point. I mean, you just kind of follow a linear path, and you eventually get to where you want to go. Plus, it, 
it adds more fun to the exploration in the game if you just look at yourself and not do dousing. I mean, when you're doing the scavenger hunt things, like in the forest where we're looking for the kiwis, and yeah, I would, I would highly recommend you use dousing and not try to find it yourself. But when you're just trying to like get from point A to point B, then I try not to use dousing just to add some fun exploration in, into the gameplay. So there you go. So we just met a new race there, Magma. So that's who we're going to be finding periodically throughout this uh, region. And they're pretty much the uh, Kiwis of the Elden region. So they're pretty cool. I mean, that's really all I have to say about them. They're cool. That's it. Hopefully I can find a red ruby soon so I can get up to 100. Uh, oh, I'm going to run this because this lava is going to rise up. I'm going to keep going. This is dumb what I'm doing. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here. Okay. So, Fi might have explained it, but if you get caught on fire, uh, what you would do to kind of get rid of that... Oh, shit, I can't make that. <laughs> I'm kind of trapped. Yeah, I'm kind of trapped over here. I have to wait on this uh, platform. But will this thing sink? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, good. Yeah, but if you call on f if you get caught on fire, what you should do is try to spin attack or roll as quickly as possible to get to extin to extinguish your fire. Otherwise, it would just kind of stay you kind of stay on fire and lose more health, and that's no good. Okay, so let's just move on, and we're gonna be introduced to a familiar item here. We have bomb flowers. So bomb throwing in this game can be done in two ways. You can be done in the traditional overhead way, which you, you do by by kind of flicking your Wii remote forward. Like you kind of, I don't know, like shoot it kind of like a basketball, I guess. Not really like a basketball, but you know, just kind of just kind of flick it forward. And that's how you do like an overhead throw. And then there's also an underhand throw, which you kind of you kind of uh, tilt your Wii remote downward, and then you just kind of slide it like in an uppercut fashion and that's how you roll the bombs and that's good for um, actually getting bombs further and that's actually good for more accurate throwing the bombs. I actually use the roll a lot more than I use the overhand throw. So we can get some rupees from some of these. A lot of these rocks are actually useless to blow up but I kinda want the rupees from them because, well, obvious reasons. Let's roll into this little hole here. We can get a, another uh, five rupees. I think there is one of these rocks that I'm not going to really bother with. So, because it, ha it just has a giant chew in it, so I'm not going to really bother with it. But did I even blow up the one that I wanted to blow up? Yeah, right there. Okay, let me just check these huts here. You'll be seeing these all over the place in this region, these huts, and you'll occasionally you'll find like rupees and stuff in them. Break these pots, try to get some health, and they're not there. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate something right here. You see this stool thing here? Well, throughout the game, you'll be seeing like stools and chairs, and you have a command you can sit on. And if you sit down, you regain health. And that can happen infinitely. You can just sit there and regain as much health as you want. It's very convenient. Something that's going to be very nice for me in this six star run. So, definitely recommend that you keep your eye out for those, because they will be pretty common. And they actually do put them in dungeons sometimes. Oh, lock on. There you go. So, I'm at 95. I'm getting... I sh yeah, okay, there's a bird statue there. So, hopefully... I mean, I could just get three. I don't even know where the hell I am right now, to be honest. I don't know how much I've actually progressed, but I'm going to probably try to go back and get the iron shield now. I can just somehow find three rupees somewhere, I'm sure. I don't want to go too much further. So, let's just let's go a little bit further. Just see what's over here. I'm going to do a little bit of exploration. Let's see what's underneath here. I, don't know, I wonder if I have to blow the rock up. I do have to blow the rock up. There's a little rock in this hole here. So, I want to make sure I roll myself. Ugh, I have to get used to doing that again. I don't think I did it right. 
Oh my god, don't, please don't do this again, come on, this is actually starting to frustrate me. I, I seriously think I'm off-centered. I don't know, whatever, forget it. I think I blew the rocks up, so that's good. Okay, this should give me rubies, this should be like a 20 ruby here. There we go, okay, so I'm gonna go back through the tunnel. Um, I'm just kind of looking around, making sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back up to Skyloft really quickly. I'm gonna get that shield, get it over with, and then I'll be back here with a iron shield. So let's go back up to the sky, and I will um, meet you where I meet you. I'll cut to wherever the hell I feel like. <laughs> Wonderful camera angle to show our getting of the iron shield. We can't even see it! Thanks! Thanks, game! Thanks for putting the shop owner right in front of ugh, the, the item get screen. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's equip it before I forget down on the surface. And uh, here's our new iron shield. Pretty nifty. And we shall uh, go back to where I was. I'll see you back at that bird statue that I came from. Okay, I hope I didn't just drop to the wrong spot. Because I, I was having trouble figuring out which spot I should drop off at. Okay, I'm at the right spot. Because there are two spots to drop off, Volcano Entry and Volcano East. I was thinking Entry was where you came in, like to the region in general, because it's called Volcano Entry. But I was thinking, well, if it's called the Entry, that means you're closer to the volcano, you're to the entrance of it. So I was getting kind of confused at how to, where to drop off. But thankfully I dropped off at the right spot. So, um, this guy, if you talk to him, he'll tell you that he saw a strange man go through here, and you can see our doubts, and he's kind of pointing in that direction. So, uh, we want to eventually get into there, but right now we can't really do it. I'm not going to go too much further, by the way, in this episode. We're getting to a pretty high time. We have a gas cube here that I might as well get. So, yeah, now we have the iron shield, um... Uh, now keep in mind, even though this is made of iron, it's, that still doesn't mean it can't break. It does have a meter on it, so you, st you do still have to be careful about it breaking. I don't know, I'd, I'm sure it probably does have a little bit more durability than a wooden shield. I'm just thinking that with logic, because iron versus wood it just seems to have more durability. Oh crap, we have these guys now. But yeah, um, so y you probably see me using this a lot more than the wooden shield in the early part of the game. Though, again, in the third region, uh, it actually will be necessary to have the wooden shield as opposed to this. Okay, so this guy here, uh, he's actually... Been, has crawled into this hole here and he's blowing up fire. So, of course, we can't get past there. So what we want to do is you want to grab a bomb flower and aim it, roll it. That did have a curve to it, but hopefully... Uh, it kind of It does need to kind of go into the hole. You can get them if you if you miss a little bit. Let's just get closer. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Okay, let's. I have a little bit of trouble with this. See, the thing is that I should just roll it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Oh, I got him. I heard him scream there. Let's see if we can get in and get some rupees or hearts or something. Nope, nothing. That's nice cheap. Oh well. Yeah, that's how you get rid of those things. You just find what hole they crawled into and roll the bomb into it. Oh, we have these guys now. Get rid of the camera. Oh, come on. Spin attack. Man. Ugh. I'm trying to do so many things at once. That's that's really what's going on with me when, you, when you're seeing me fail at fighting these things. That's because I'm trying to do like so many things at once. It's my fault. It's not the game's fault. It is my fault. I will take accountability for my failure at... At, at, at fighting some of these guys. It really has been kind of ugly. I will admit that. Okay, so... Uh, once I get rid of all these enemies, I'll stop, if there are any more. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. Because this is a pretty good... Well, this isn't really a good spot to stop, but still, there's not really much going on. So, next time on Skyward Sword, we will continue on with the Elden Region, and hopefully find out what exactly we're supposed to do here because we haven't really found out anything yet so thanks for watching guys this is michael 27 signing out